welcome back to the show. You are watching Cards and Analysis. I am your host, Giovanni Perez-Mendez. In this video, I will be reviewing Season 3, Episode 2, Part 1 of Star vs. the Forces of Evil, other known as Book Be Gone. Let's get into this. For the first shot, we see the monster temple Ludo had taken shelter in many episodes back. Seconds later, Bird and Spider come fly into the inside of the temple. They come to give their master Ludo tacos from the taco shop they got sent to back in Star Crushed, and both find him drooling while into a deep sleep. Ludo awakens to two new things that happened after he was fully possessed by Toffee. The temple was destroyed and his wand became embedded into his hand. There is an easter egg in this scene, with Mina Ludbury making a short appearance in the bottom right corner who seems to be sneaking around the temple. All of these new things that happen without him having any control of it frightens and scares him. He calls out for Glossark who is hiding on the outside of the temple. According to Glossark, Toffee slash Ludo had told him to hide before the Battle of Star Crush. We know this since obviously Toffee has control of whoever is controlling Ludo's body. This confuses Ludo, but Glossark explains to him that he defeated the High Commission and all the other details to catch himself up. Ludo becomes excited about what happened, even though he didn't do anything, so he decides to write a chapter in the Book of Spells of him causing the destruction of the High Commission. But before he tries to, Toffee through the one tells Ludo to go to Butterfly Castle. Ludo, of course, doesn't listen as he is still way too excited. Glossark tries to explain to Ludo that he isn't the owner, and since Toffee is controlling his body and mind, technically, he is the owner. This leads to many minutes of trial and error for Ludo to write inside the Book of Spells, and for Glossark to keep his pudding on a stick for warmth. Ludo tries to use the spell Levitato to retrieve the book, and Glossark warns him not to do it. After not listening, Ludo is blasted across the area to a beach paradise full of mermaids, mermen, and laughing fish heads with legs. He shortly forgot how he got there, but then remembers and marches all the way back to the temple through many different biomes and lands, including an ocean. Ludo becomes infuriated, and finally, when he gets back, asks Glossark about how he isn't the owner anymore. Glossark doesn't give the full statement and makes Ludo learn the hard way. And finally, Glossark admits to Ludo that he didn't literally mean talk to the book to receive answers or be able to write in it. Ludo then goes on a sad rant about Glossark never believed in him and only cared about Star. So through pure anger and sadness, he throws not only the Book of Spells, but Glossark into the fire nearby. As the book is burning and falling apart, Toffee controls Ludo again and makes his final farewell to Glossark as he has run out of time for this life. The book fully burns in this sad moment. Glossark disappears and Toffee stops controlling Ludo again and he begins to start mourning over Glossark's death. After he finishes his mourning, the book disappears and Toffee finally convinces him that he doesn't need anyone and to head to Butterfly Castle. Thanks for watching, I hope you ladies and gentlemen all enjoyed. Please make sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on bell notifications for updates for whenever I upload. Like the video and comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Finally, share this with your friends and family to help Team Analyzer become stronger. I am your host, Giovanni Perez Mendes, signing out. She's a princess waiting battles through the break of dawn. Don't worry.